Hey everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, can I start up ZBrush with 3D modeling enabled by default? So in order to have ZBrush start up with 3D modeling already enabled, what we need to do is first create a project and save that project so that it can start up each and every time we load up ZBrush and it's really simple to do. So let's start with that. So first things first, what we want to do is have a project to load into ZBrush at default. So we're going to go ahead and close the light box by hitting comma. And let's just go ahead and load a tool that I've been working on. And it's been this fight stick that I've been working on. We're going to drag that out. Go ahead and hit T on the keyboard to select edit mode. And now we are good to go. So this is the project that I would like to have load by default within ZBrush. And all we have to do is first save this as a project. So we're going to go to file, save as. And we're going to go ahead and make this a project. I already have a project saved here, but we'll go ahead and just save over that. Now that the project is saved, we want to actually tell ZBrush to load this project by default. So what we're going to do is go to Preferences, go all the way down to Startup, and you'll notice here there's a button, Auto Load Recent Project. This will load any recent project that we've had loaded into ZBrush on default when we start. Let's so go ahead and click that. And now we're going to go up to Config, and we're going to store config. Go ahead and confirm by clicking OK. And now what we can do is close ZBrush. And when we load ZBrush up, it's going to load this project file. And now that we've reloaded ZBrush, you could see here that my fight stick is ready to go. I didn't have to click edit or make polymesh 3D. I could just go ahead, turn on the wireframe and start sculpting away if I choose. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And also, please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.